take you to the place that you've never been. Let me show you a new world that will make your head spin. Give me. Why am I so nervous to film this video? Hi guys, what's up? So as you guys can probably already tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be reading your assumptions about me. I have been seeing so many people do this video. I think Avery Ovard was the first one. Let's just get into the video. I went on Instagram and had you guys reply to my Instagram story with your assumptions. If you do want to follow me on Instagram, I do a lot of like polls and stuff. So I'll have it linked below if you want to follow me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? First assumption is you're sleep deprived. Well, technically no. Okay, the thing is I sleep like kind of a lot and I'm always tired. So I don't know. You're fake on and off camera. I honestly really feel like I am pretty similar on camera to off camera. Of course, I'm not always gonna be like exactly the same, but I feel like if you ask my friends, I'm similar. Okay, so as I'm editing this, I'm realizing I didn't like answer the question. No, I don't think I'm fake on or off camera. I feel like I'm just always myself. So yeah. You find yourself cringy and just laugh it off when you make comments that you think are cringy. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I like to joke and like say things that I think are cringy. Like for example, I mean, if you say this, no tea, no shade. Lit and like dope. I mean, I guess if certain people say it, it's just like me, I feel it's cringy because like I don't say that stuff. So I say it as a joke. Does that make sense? You don't like Taylor Swift. I actually love Taylor Swift. Recently, I've been obsessed with her. You've changed a lot in LA. I mean, I feel like I don't like when people are like, oh, when you go to LA, you're gonna change because as a person, you're always constantly changing. And if you're not changing, that's not a good thing. You're supposed to be always becoming a better version of yourself. So yes, I do feel like I've changed a couple months I've been here. Nothing like crazy or anything. Back home, I hardly had any friends. So here I've been a lot more social and a lot more just like outgoing. You aren't shy at all. Kind of going off the last one, honestly, it depends on the situation. Now that I've been here, especially, I feel like I've gotten less shy, but I'm not someone who loves like being in the center of attention or anything, but I don't think I'm like super, super shy where I don't like talk to anyone. If I'm around my friends, I'm definitely very social. Just depends who I'm with. You only have a couple of friends because people use you. I feel like that was really true back home in Minnesota. Now that I'm here, I feel like it's a lot different. You like dance. I do like to dance. I used to be a dancer for a short period of my life, but I don't really do that well anymore. You feel like your new LA friends are too old for you. Bobby, Franny, Kian, Meryl Twins, etc. I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of my close friends here are older than me. A lot of them are around like 22, 23. Some of them are even older than that. And honestly, I feel like I just like mesh with older people better, but I definitely don't don't feel like they're too old for me. You like to shop. I actually prefer online shopping. Is that weird? I think this is the number one assumption that I got and everyone <laughs> wants to know if I have a boyfriend and I do not. You skipped a grade in school. I did not technically skip a grade, but I did skip a math grade because I wanted to get ahead. So over the summer, I took an extra math class and then in middle school, I just went to the high school for math. You secretly want a teacup pig. I don't think it's a secret because I really, really, really want one. I've wanted one for so long. I'm definitely gonna get one when I'm older. I wanna get one when I like have a family and stuff. You miss living back home with Ashton and your parents. I definitely, I do miss it. There's parts that I miss and parts that I don't. I really like being independent here. I have this whole place to myself. I can shower when I want. I can sleep when I want. It can be hard to live with family because I feel like you can just like clash a lot because you're always, always with them. So I do miss them like so much. I FaceTime them pretty much every day, but I like my life here so much more and I'm so much happier. So I don't miss it to the point where I'm like sad. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> you were the cute shy girl in your class. A lot of people I thought I was just like really shy in school when I did public school. I was pretty shy, I will admit. I'm definitely a lot more outgoing now. Unless I was around my friends, I was like kind of outgoing, but yeah. That you're a goody goody. Yes, what can I say? I am literally the biggest goody goody ever. If you ask any of my friends, I am just, I've always been a goody goody. I follow the rules. You always got super high grades in school. Yeah, I always got really stressed about it actually. You like waking up early. Yes, I hate sleeping in. I feel very unproductive. I honestly think that what you are on camera and off camera is the exact same, but I assume you are shy. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm definitely like pretty much the exact same in real life and on camera. It just depends if I'm with people I know or not, depending on if I'll be shy. You still haven't gotten rid of your 
your habit of sticking gum all over the place. Yes, I probably have some, oh, some gum on my coaster. So if that doesn't answer your question, I haven't gone over it. You lie a lot. Not that you do, I just think you do. No, I really don't. And also, I'm not that good of a liar anyways. So like in games and stuff, I usually lose. because I just laugh. I seem to get this assumption so much too. You were a popular girl in school. I don't know why people think this. I think it's so funny because I definitely was not. I was just like a pretty standard girl. I didn't like popular girls, which is part of the reason I love school because I think it's stupid that people are like better than other people. You have fake eyelashes. I did have eyelash extensions for a while a few months ago, but right now they're real. You like alone time because hanging around friends is a lot for you. I do like my alone time for sure. I really appreciate it and value it, but I also love hanging out with my friends. I like both, but I do value alone time if I've been with people for a while. You get stressed out easily. I definitely get stressed out super easy and something that I'm trying to work on. When something's like not in my control, I get really nervous. <laughs> so I'm just trying to learn to be more like flexible and let things go as they go and let go of control of everything because I can't control everything in my life. You're sassy. I guess sometimes <laughs> if I'm like being funny with my friends, I'll be sassy, but not in like a serious way at all, just for fun. You are very private with your inner thoughts. Yes and no. There's of course a big portion of my life that I keep private, but there's also a big portion of my life that I talk to you guys about. So the there's a good mix, but I always value a private life. You bought AirPods. Almost. I almost bought them, but I didn't. <laughs> You're super healthy. I don't think I'm like super, super healthy. I like to eat healthy. Sometimes I work out, not recently. It's all about balance. You have Gucci slash designer stuff. This one's really funny. I actually don't. I've never bought anything designer and I don't really plan on it for now. You're a Christian. This one's actually, I take this as a compliment, so thank you. Yes, I'm a Christian. I love God. I cannot imagine my life without him. You are flexible, lol. <laughs> well, no. I used to be so flexible when I did like dance and gymnastics, but now... Okay, no, just no. I assume that you liked the egg. Yes, I did. <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. Underneath all the happiness is insecurities and sadness. Of course, everybody has insecurities and everyone gets sad sometimes. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like my life is perfect and I'm never sad or mad, but most of the time I am happy and my general happiness is at a good level right now, especially now that I moved to LA. I'm like so much happier. I don't know if it shows in my videos, if you can tell compared to like a few months ago, but Overall, I'm a lot happier and I'm doing well. You like LA better than Minnesota. Each has their pros and cons. Right now, I definitely think LA is the place where I'm meant to be. The main reason I love Minnesota is literally just because my family's there, but I love everything else about LA. Your favorite emoji is the cowboy emoji. Yes, I use that way too much. <laughs> you wish that your family was in LA with you. Yes, I do. I've tried to convince them to move here so many times, but it's definitely not gonna happen anytime soon. You are adjusting to the LA lifestyle really well? Uh, yes, I feel like I am. I mean, it was definitely a transition. I expected it to be a lot scarier than it was, if that makes sense, but it wasn't too bad and I really enjoy my experiences here, my friends here so far. You are the nerdiest person ever. <laughs> um, in certain ways, yes. I'm definitely a planner. I'm like straight A student. I'm also very like, I like to educate myself on certain things. You like dogs. Yes. That you will forget about Minnesota and be an LA girl. I will never forget about Minnesota. Minnesota is where I'm from. Like, that's just my roots are in Minnesota. You were the student that reminded the teacher about the homework. <laughs> this one's so funny. No. You are social and you don't care what people think about you. I am pretty social now, like I was saying earlier. Of course, I try my best to not care what people think about me. I think that's always something that everyone struggles with. Sometimes I do care and I'm trying my best not to. So it's a work in progress. I definitely am a lot better than I used to be, for sure. All right, so that's it for today's video. Those are all the assumptions that I'm answering for today. This was so interesting to see like what you guys actually like assume about me. Some of them are really funny, but I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys got to know me a little more. I hope you guys had fun. I love you so, so much and I'll see you at my next video. Bye guys.